Happy Halloween everybody, and welcome to another Command Block Tutorial. For today's holiday episode, I'm going to teach you how to trick or treat with villagers. So essentially the way that this system works is, anytime these villagers have these particles above them, that means you are ready to just go up to them and trick or treat. Now, most of the time, you'll get a treat. You'll get either a cookie or a pumpkin pie. But not every time, because it's not just treat, it's trick or treat. So you also have a low chance of getting some kind of trick. Let's see what happens when I try and trick or treat with these guys right in front of me. Oh, I got a cookie. Another cookie. Oh, this guy gave me a pumpkin pie. Oh, yay, another cookie. Oh, look, we're doing pretty good so far. And lightning, and now they're all witches. <laughs> So we have a lot of different kinds of tricks as well. It's not just lightning. Um, let me kill these guys real quick. I'll just give you another example. I think this guy should probably give me a uh, trick right now. Boom. Someone's a wither skeleton. So we have a large variety of tricks that we can do. And it really makes just this interesting little thing. Because now we can have an actual trick or treat minigame. Let's see again. Oh, just give me a treat that time. How nice of him. But yeah, it does look like a lot of commands. However, it's a lot of repeating commands. So it's really not as difficult as it looks. Um, this command right here is just what's keeping the villagers in place. So that's not actually a command. And that's how we dropped an anvil on my head. How rude. So we have a couple of varieties of tricks, um, a couple of treats, as well as there's some ways to customize it yourself. But let's get right into the commands. Ooh, spooky transition. Ooh. It'd be really funny if I kept all of this in. Trick or treat. Dude, really? You're a little old for this, man. Sorry. But wait, I... Boo. All right, so for the first tower that we have here, this is just for the treats themselves. This is for the tricks. And like I said, I know this is a long tower, but it's a lot of repeating commands. It's really not as bad as it looks. Anyways, starting off with the treats, Perfect. we have this simple thing right here. So essentially, as a random villager, as long as there's not a player within five blocks, that way they're not getting refilled right as you're next to them, give them the tag treat. This is happening on a 200 tick delay. That means every 10 seconds, a random villager is gonna be refilled with a treat. Now, it's gonna to attempt to refill it. It's possible the villager already has a treat. So it's kind of balanced in that you actually do want more villagers total. You don't wanna just have one or two that you're farming this off of. So it's gonna work better with a larger population based on this command. Now, another thing, the tick delays in this entire project are very important. So I'm gonna show every single tick delay. The next thing is we have this particle to show, oh hey, this guy is ripe for the picking, in that we can just go over and pick up the treat from him. That's what the particle is. So this command is, I just showed it, and it is on a 10 tick delay. Following that, these are the actual treats. As you can see, we have treat number one and treat number two. So these three commands are for treat number one, which is the cookie. These three are for treat number two, which is the thumb goodbye. So treat number one, we have on a 20 tick delay. All we're doing is giving, uh, when we have a villager that has treat, give the player within two blocks a cookie. Following that, we're gonna do a little message in chat, as you can see here. It's exactly the same command, except doing a tell raw, and we're just doing the raw text, happy Halloween. And I use the code six here for this orange color, by the way. Finally, we're saying if there's something with a tag treat and another tag trick, then just remove the tag treat from them. So that means it gets consumed. Now we have the exact same commands here, except this one is on a 10 tick delay. That is important. This means you're going to have a 50% chance of getting a cookie or a pumpkin pie. It is exactly the same command, except we change cookie to pumpkin pie. That's it. Exactly the same. And then the two following it, are exactly the same. There's no difference here. I'll show them real quick, but I'm not going to explain them. They're exactly the same as these two. And that's it. That's all you need for the treat system. Now, if you wanted to add a third type of treat, you would copy these three commands again, put the put this one, the one that's the giving it, 
put it on a 10 tick delay and put this one up to 30. If you're not sure what I mean by that, don't worry about it. Just do these two exactly how you see it. But that's all you need to know for the treats. Now the tricks, it, it looks like a lot. It's really not that complicated. We just have five different types of tricks pre-built into this. And that's why it looks like this. So let's get into the commands. So first what we're doing is we're executing at a random villager that has the tag treat. So they have the particle over them. Unless there is already a villager with the tag trick, like somewhere within 30 blocks, that way you're not getting too many tricks at one time. Go ahead and add the tag trick. Now, if we look here, this is only 500 tick delay. If you want tricks to happen a little bit more often, you can lower this number, but about 500 was pretty good from my testing. Then, in this one, trick number one, we're starting off, this is going to be on a 50 tick delay. And that is going to be important. If you end up adding more tricks, you want, however, the total number of tricks you have followed by a zero. So if you end up having six tricks, make it 60. If you end up having four, make it 40. Um, that is important and I'll kind of explain as I go through. But for now, since I have five tricks, I'm doing 50. Now what I'm doing here, executing at anything that has the tag trick. Uh, if there's a player within two blocks, which is what we have right here, summon a wither skeleton. Pretty simple right there. Then, similar to the last one, we have a raw text, which is what this is, except instead of saying Happy Halloween, it's going to say tricked. Now, obviously, you guys can change this message to anything you want, but I think tricked makes sense for the context. Then, we're going to go right here. This is going to say for anything that has the tag trick, if a player is within two blocks, remove the tag treat from them. Following that, if the player, or if the entity, has a tag trick and a player is within two blocks, remove trick. This essentially just resets it after the trick has been completed. It's pretty simple, but yeah. Then for the next trick, this is going to be on a 10 tick delay. Every single trick is going to be, from here on out, is going to be a 10 tick delay. So just keep that in mind. And if I'm not showing them, by the way, so for instance, like these ones, so this is the one that's summoning, it's on 50. If I'm not showing it, that means it's on a zero tick delay. So I'm just going to go through and double show you that. It's only the ones that are labeled here, the ones that are doing the trick. Those are the only ones that are going to be on a 10 tick delay. So the next one that we have here, it's almost exactly the same, except instead of summoning a wither skeleton, you're summoning an ender crystal. And then we have this bit at the end. We have the coordinates, the rotation, and then Minecraft crystal explode. That just makes it so it's going to instantly explode as soon as you do it. So it's just going to blow up and it will kill you. It also kills the villager. It's quite funny. Then once again, exact same command we have tricked. Following that exact same command, removing the treat tag, exact same command, removing the trick tag. So essentially what we have when we're making these tricks, and that's why I say it's a big tower, but it's not that complicated because this command is different. This is a duplicate, this is a duplicate, this is a duplicate. This command's different, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Different, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. You get the idea. So let's go to trick three. So in this one, we are giving the player blindness as the trick. And you can kind of just see how it works here. It's exactly the same. Execute if player's within two blocks. Give the player within two blocks blindness for 20 seconds. Then I'm going to show these every time, but I'm not going to explain them because this is a duplicate. Then we have this command. Then we have this command. So if you're following step by step, you can go ahead and pause on those, but I'm not gonna explain them every time. Following that, we have execute at a player. If there's a player within two, at that player, summon an anvil above their head. So it'll fall on them and deal damage. Then duplicate, duplicate, and duplicate. And last but not least, we have this one. It might, once again, 10 tick delay. So this one is just going to summon a lightning bolt at the player. Then finally, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. That's all the commands that you have. Like I said, if you want to add more or you want to take away some of these tricks, maybe you don't like them, feel free to. Um, it's going to be the same process just change whatever here to whatever trick you want it to be 
And that's all you got to do. So I'll just kind of show off just a few, a little bit more trick-or-treating. And then, yeah, it's not the most complicated one. I just wanted to make something a little bit more festive for the upcoming holiday and have this out in time for you guys to actually celebrate your Halloween in this way. So let's see what these guys have to offer me. I think this guy's going to give me a treat. Yeah, he gave me a cookie. I think this guy's going to trick me. Nope, nothing. Very friendly. Um, and one thing you'll also notice is that the more villagers you have, uh, kind of the easier it gets to trick or treat. And if you're not happy with the rate at which these guys are refilling, you can bump this one up. So I have this as 200, so maybe I bump this to 100. And maybe I bump this one down to 300. And these guys are going to start filling up a little bit faster. So let's see what these guys have for me. Happy Halloween. Oh, thank you. And that's the explosion. And it just wiped out everything. And if I were in survival mode, it would instantly kill me as well. So it was actually quite fun if I also remove this, especially if I'm in a village like I am right now, on this kind of Halloween-ish looking village. If I remove their slowness, they'll start moving around, and it kind of makes the trick-or-treat experience a little more natural, because you're actually going around to the houses that these guys are trying to get into. So let's just trick-or-treat a little bit more. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, oh and lightning. Happy Halloween. But yeah, you guys can see it's actually a really good way to gain food. And it's also potentially a fun way to play some pranks on your friends. Like blowing them up with a suicide villager. <laughs> um, and it's just a really good, you know, little holiday experience. Uh, additionally, if you guys do end up doing the end crystal, it will destroy blocks if you don't have mob griefing off. So keep that in mind. You guys kind of get the idea. You guys are kind of seeing how this works. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And... Happy Halloween.